sea levels have risen at an alarming rate. This year rate. is likely to be one of the hottest on record. Biodiversity is reportedly declining. Hurricanes and floods. Wow, if you listen to the news, it kind of sounds like the world is ending. And it kind of is. We've destroyed entire forests, made species extinct, and even created a trash island in the ocean. And that sucks. But it's not all bad. Today, I want to give you hope. Today, I want to tell you about a country that is reversing climate change. Welcome to Bhutan. This is the only carbonated country in the world. That's right. While most countries are creating more gas and pollution, this country is actually creating more clean air. But how do they do it? Let me explain. First of all, it's in their constitution. At least 60% of the country has to be kept as forests. And they even broke a Guinness World Record for planting the most trees. Almost 50,000 in one hour. Second, they limit tourism. To visit Bhutan, there is a minimum fee of around $250 a day. $65 of it goes towards sustainability programs like free healthcare and free education. And the rest pays for your private guide, driver, hotels, and food. So why is there a fee? Because tourism is like fire. If you manage it well, it can keep you warm, cook for you, and feed you. But if you overdo it, it can ruin what's good and even burn down the house. We all know a huge source of pollution is burning coal. This. But here in Bhutan... Bhutan is the only country in the world powered by 100% renewable energy. That means all of their energy is made from things that don't hurt the planet, like the sun or water. The water comes from a river like this, comes into a machine like this, which creates power, and then the water flows back out. But what about cars? Cars are actually the biggest threat to Bhutan's eco-friendly vibe. So they're making electric cars tax free to decrease the amount of pollution. They have zero waste goals. My name is Nidup Sering. I'm the executive director of Clean Bhutan. And our goal is to have zero waste by 2030. That means they want to recycle everything and have no trash like this. And they're always finding new ways to recycle. This purse is made out of trash. And of course, Bhutan also has a goal to be 100% organic. They want to eat organically like they used to. They want their food to be pesticide free. This country is setting an amazing example of what is possible, that we can make a change. Now, many countries are working towards becoming carbon neutral, which means they do at least as much good as they do harm. But this is the first and only country to be carbon negative. The first and only country that is helping the environment instead of hurting it. Bhutan is a beautiful green and a pollution-free country. So next time you start to worry about climate change, remember that just like Bhutan, you could make the climate change. Adios me gusta, and I'll see you another time, Bhutan.